Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm, uh, uh, I'm Jacinto Costa. I'm an assistant professor in Federal University of Pernambuco in Brazil, and I visit the professor at McGill University. Uh, today, I will go to, to speak about the role and the utility of metalloproteinases as predictor of cervical lesion progression. Cervical cancer is the first most common cancer of women worldwide. It represents about 10% of female cancers of women, with 70% of these cancers being caused by HPV 16 and 18. Uh, persistent infection with high risk HPV accounts for more 50% of cervical cases. In Brazil, uh, cervical cancer is the third most common cancer, except no melanoma skin. And HPV, Dr. Lee uh, told about this. Uh, we need, uh, uh, the, the virion of HPV needs to uh, find the uh, basal layer and uh, infect the cell. And uh, this infection uh, we have uh, two Ocon proteins that de uh, degrade P53 and PRB, and the cell cycle is compromised. Annulate the cell cycle checkpoint because the degradation of these two proteins decreases of apoptotic rate, and a continued expression of A6 and A7 Ocon proteins is required to maintain the cell transformation of process. Uh, we, we can divide three stages of this infection. First, when the uh, uh, virus infected the cell in epsomal form and integration of part of the genome of the vi virus in host cell and uh, uh, the expression of E6 and C is still low. And the first uh, stage, the third stage, Increased expression of A6 and ESF, uh, blocked cell cycle suppressors because the P53 RB was uh, degraded, uncontrolled growth, and uh, invasive cancer. Uh, genital wart is uh, most, com most frequent in low risk HPV and high risk. HPV, it's possible to see uh, cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, CIN. And here uh, in this picture, it's possible to see a uh, sex normal with uh, a, a ischemo colonial junction. In this, uh, several uh, de three uh, degree of CIN. And cervical cancer, invasive cancer, uh, and this uh, oncoprotein uh, is no, uh, a six and seven oncoprotein may influence other neoplastic mechanisms uh, such as matric metalloproteinases. Uh, but what is matrix metalloproteinase? Uh, a family of zinc dependent endopeptidase that share a similar structure. And the family of uh, approximately 24 molecules cleave the protein components of the extracellular matrix with a central role in tissue remod remodeling and degradation. Uh, it's important role in inflammation and cancer and secreted and activate its progression of most solid coma. Tumors. In this, pic this picture, is uh, possible to see uh, several sites that produce uh, MMP and inhibitors of MMP. And this article of Valdivia et al. Uh, to date, most studies were performed with cell cultures, and few with human tumor. It's possible to see in this uh, article the increase of the MEMP1 
11 and 12 uh, accordingly with the uh, degree of the lesion. In some solid tumor, the intensity of MEMP2 express an increase according to the lesion progression. High expression and activity of MEMP9 was associated with poor clinical outcomes. Some MEMPs 2, 7, 9, and 10 have been reported in invasive cervical carcinoma. MEMP2 and 9 correlates with poor prognosis in patients. However, what about the correlation between HPV oncoproteins and the MMP in cervical cancer? Save this question. So, uh, MMP uh, have uh, inhibitors, TIMP, one, two, three, and four. Endogenous inhibitor regulated tissue and extracellular MMP's activities. But uh, there are controversies about TIMP. Some study reported high expression in seen uh, tumor cell and stroma, while others report lower level of expression. Brunk et al. reported a normal pattern of expression until late disease progression. At this time, 60% of CIN3 lesion is still expressed TIMP2 at the same level of normal epithelium. Then, Stettler uh, concluded that these apparently contradictory results may reflect the unique TIMP dual role as an inhibitor and activator MMP. Another kind of inhibitor is HEC, membrane-bound protein, except inhibitory effects uh, on the transcription, synthesis, activation, and activity of MMP. The detection of normal or elevated rec levels in tumor sample has been associated with decreasing invasiveness and metastatic potential and improved prognosis. For instance, HEC can inhibit uh, the secretion of an activity of MMP29, MT1 MMP, MMP9 transcription. REC down regulation correlates with poor cancer prognosis. REC overexpression decreases migratory ability and invasive potential in a human glioblastoma multiform model. It is possible that uh, from first step until invasive, REC inhibition confer an in, uh, invasive and metastatic phenotype to cervical neoplastic lesion. So, uh, some studies have shown HPV uh, oncoproteins involvement in the MMP synthesis and activation. HPV 16 oncoprotein DAO regulation, REC, expressed in cell cultures and cervical sample. And this study of Cardio et al. Uh, was uh, analyzed this relation. In uh, my university, we work in uh, research areas, and this experiment was in tumor microenvironment. Then we use method uh, HPV detection and amplification using PRIMIS MI0911 uh, of, from cervical brushet. HPV genotype with, was classified on the basis of sequence homologous when compared with sequence included in gene bank. Uh, sequence homologous was determined by BLAST and Cluster W software in silico. Uh, uh, for analysis of the MMP9 to TIMP2 REC and A6, we used uh, immunohistochemistry in sample of paraffin. Then in the first slide, uh, we can see immunohistochemistry for E6. And e, uh, we used P15, P16 for um, control, uh, because we know that the P16 is positive when the uh, HPV high risk 
uh, is, uh, be present. And this picture is possible to compare and CIN1 uh, uh, in hematoxylin and eosin. And here, uh, MEMP a positive one cruises. We use it one, two, and three cruises for classification the immunohistochemistry and MMP2, one cruises. And nine negative. And CIN, one and two, uh, MMP2, uh, positive, two cruises. Uh, CIN, two. MEM2 uh, positive, two cruises. Uh, nine was negative and positive. It's possible to see sometimes uh, because we, we decided to uh, use more than 16% of the, the number in this each uh, group, positive. Uh, and for example, in CIN3, MEMP2, it's possible to see uh, the reaction in uh, all extract of epithelium. Nine is uh, positive one cruise to two cruise. And invasive carcinoma is possible to see uh, the reaction strong positive three cruises uh, for MEMP2 and nine. Nine, it's possible to see in some samples, positive two cruises. When you, uh, we analyzed the inhibitor, TIMP2, the reaction was different. Uh, in CIN1 was positive one to two cruises and REC and another kind of inhibitor was positive in the epithelium and some cells of the strum. Uh, TIMP2 uh, in lesion uh, one and two or two, it's possible to see a weak reaction to moderate reaction. And REC uh, positive moderation too. And uh, CIN3, TIP2 was almost negative and weak in some areas. Uh, different from uh, REC, moderate to strong. And invasive carcinoma, TIP2 was negative and REC negative, almost negative. Uh, summer of results, it's possible to see uh, MEMP2, nine, uh, increase accordingly the lesion, but heck, no possible to uh, see the same mark. Overexpression MEMP29 in cervical cancer lesion, decrease TIMP2 express in cervical cancer lesion, erratic variation in REC expression, different degree of lesions. In perspective, Zhu et al. using uh, mRNA report in cervical cancer cell lines, Kaskin Shia, upregulate MT1, MEMP. MEMP2 and 9, when the regulated of the MEMP16, 16, 6, 6 and 7 ocoprotein by use SRRNAs, decrease MEM, MET1, MEMP, MEMP2 and 9, expression in cervical cancer cell. Then in these articles, uh, from uh, in this this month, August, uh, MEMP9 rack imbalance uh, mechanism associate, associated with high grade cervical lesion and genital infection by human papillomavirus and chlamydia trachomatis. Uh, 
Uh, then uh, we conclude that our results show evidence that the E6 protein can directly activate MMP29 expression and decrease TIM2. Use immuno, immuno uh, histochemistry in cervical samples, it was possible to detect MMP29 expression in low reaction in CIN1 and 2 lesion and high reaction in CIN3 and invasive disease. Herve's uh, expression can be detected with TIMP2 and REC. Increase of HPV60 E6 expression, MMP29 reduction and decrease TIMP2 may predict invasiveness. REC was not shown to be a good predictor when analyzed alone. Perspectives standardize the use of this biomarker in diagnosis, predictive analysis of cervical lesion, as well as, well as metastatic, metastatic and recurrence. Spread of uh, the uh, use of these biomarkers through immunocytochemistry of pap smear. This is my seat in Brazil, Recife. Thank you.